As they say, it's always best to eat in season. And if you're lucky, you've got a farmer's market in your very own neighborhood. But no matter where you shop, today food contributor and host of the Great American Recipe on PBS, Alejandra Ramos, can help us pick the perfect produce I mean, we were just talking about avocados. I know. Yeah. So I love that Whitney come and set me up for this. Yeah. Because yeah. we are. We are She's your about, opening act. She was my She's opening act. Well, Amazing. Sometimes it's it can be overwhelming. In the supermarket or the farmer's yeah. market, you're like, I don't know what to choose. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the supermarket's like, you know where stuff is. The farmer's market can be a little yeah. bit And too I much. love a farmer's market. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's so fun. And so here's, our, here's some side, uh, some ideas to help you kind of get the most of it. Yeah, and why? Because that is peak season now. Why right? do like, you the best suggest time. people go to the farmer's market? Well, here's the thing. You're going to get things that are local. You're going to get things that are the freshest things possible. Possible, season, right? right? When they get to the supermarket, there's a middleman there. Okay, yeah. Here, you're getting it okay, right from awesome. the farmers. Okay. So we're going to talk about first about how to how to pick out an avocado, okay, uh, or a peach or anything like that. So when you want when you go to the market, you want to get some things that are ripe and some that are less ripe mm -hmm. because you want to space them out so everything doesn't have to get used up right away. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. So you want to pick them up. You want to use your senses. You want sight, smell, uh, touch. Mm -hmm. You want to feel a little bit of softness when you press like right by the root mm -hmm. there. Do you see how that gives? That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a beautiful ripe peach ready to eat. This one, well, actually. This one's ripe too, but then they're a little bit yeah, harder. Hard. Exactly. Same I like with avocados. You can eat over a sink. It's so exactly. drippy and ripe. With your greens, I oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. that's the best. Or this mango, I love the juice. Okay. With your greens, you want them to be fresh. You want them to kind of be like sort of taut, standing up, crisp. You don't want them Not wilted. Wilty on the side. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And now keep in mind, you know, throughout the country, seasonality varies. Yeah. So right. there's wherever you are. Find out what's best in your neighborhood, in mm -hmm. your area, so you can so get, you just like... just what you're saying is speak to the... Mm -hmm. Go up to the... Exactly. Yeah, you want to talk to the farmers. You want to, like... Exactly. See, so you, you're getting your bananas and your mangoes in uh, in Florida. You've got uh, cherries in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. Obviously, okay. we know the tomatoes are amazing around I, here. How do you choose the right berries? Is there a special way? Well, the berries, you, again, want them to be sort of fresh. You want mm -hmm. them to look like they're, like, mm -hmm. you know, bright and soft. Oh, but so here's the thing with know. berries. Wow. You want to be able to taste, right? Yeah. You want to be able to taste things. So you can actually ask them right. if you can, can I, just have a bite or two. Do you ever Don't do that? feel bad about do you ever that. Do that in the supermarket. I, Taste the yeah. grape, see if they're sweet. Without asking. I mean, you want the little yeah, samples. Like, too. don't feel bad about that. Even like green beans, something like that, you can take Friendship. a bite. You're not, there's no pressure to buy. Okay. They really want you to kind of learn and taste and Melons. Melons. I think the toughest melons. thing to pick for me is a melon. Melons how do you know it's right? Feel, so, melons, you want them to smell amazing, but yeah. you but also want them. Tell, can you? You want them to feel heavy for their size. Like, touch this. Doesn't that feel heavy for its size? Yeah. Right? Because that that's, means that's right? the juiciness. Those are all the juicy sugars. And then you smell them, those are the sugars ripening in there. Also, use sight. Obviously, like bananas are an easy example. Unripe, ripe, right? The color changes and deepens, and, and uh, that's how you can tell that something is becoming. Is this you're supposed to knock on them? it, or is that just a watermelon? No, that's just like a thing. I mean, you see people knocking; they don't know what they're doing. They're just I like, they said if it's I know hollow, what I'm doing. It's, there's oh, a no. hollow. It's really about the weight. You okay, really want to feel that heavy. weight. The heavy. Get a heavy. Okay. okay. Exactly. Um, let's move on to. Veggies. All right. So veggies. talking again about asking questions, right? So when you go to the market, you ask the if you see something unfamiliar. So I brought some what? exciting things here. I want to see if you guys know what we have here. What is this? You know what these are? Yeah, we get. A lich, a lich, these are yeah. rambutans. Yeah. Or rambutans. I actually looked it up. Apparently, rambutan is the British way to say it. Rambutan is the American way. I, we get these lychees, all the time. We they're peel very them, similar. Lychees are inside. Yeah. Be careful. Delicious. Yeah. Mm. The lychee's a yeah. little bit more floral than this. This is a little bit sweeter. A cherry. What about uh -huh. this one? Do you know what this one is? Uh, this is some kind of root. Celery root. Celery root. Yes. This okay. is amazing for pureeing. You can make soups with it. You can saute mm -hmm. it. How about this guy? Is that ginger? Is that no. garlic? Ooh. Sunshoke. What? Sunshoke. What, Sun what is that? Another root vegetable. Really delicious. Roasted, sauteed. I know you know these. Tomatilla. Tomatilla. Those, oh, those cool are fantastic for roasting and mm -hmm. making salsas, mm -hmm. pozole. Okay. Uh, so some of these veggies here, see how they look a little bit not like the ones you would see at the grocery store, right? So Super Chris hard. here in from Today Show grew these in his garden. What? Yes. So these Wait, are the tomatoes, what? the eggplant, the peppers. Oh my and God. so it's that's star, what you're gonna see fruit, at right? mm -hmm. Yes. That's what you're gonna see at the farmer's market. Things that look a little bit dragon unfamiliar, fruit. but the flavors are amazing. <laughs> dragon, dragon fruit. fruit? Yeah, yes. we get that. But we get all these different You do? Yeah, we like all this. What about you? You're a Do you know these? Uh leek? Lemongrass. 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 Amazing whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, adding flavor. Uh, oh, these are very tart. But oh, they're yeah. fantastic in margaritas and yeah. cocktails. Okay. You need to add rum and sugar. Add okay. rum and sugar. Let's get really, we, gotta, we have to <laughs> speed through. Okay, so it's not just produce. Oh, yeah. You can also get dairy Jeez. and eggs and things like that. But the trick is to get coolers. Delicious. So delicious. Yeah. <laughs> we need the sink so you can triple. All right, so when you want to get dairy, breads, anything that's going to go bad, keep a cooler in your trunk. Or if uh -huh. you take public yeah. transportation, a cooler right. bag. That's okay. so smart. You got to right. You're, You're the best. <laughs> get these tips. Head to Hoda or hodaandjenna.com, today.com slash food. Yeah, perfect.